Greetings guys, and welcome to another tutorial. Today we will be looking at all the modifiers in the Aperture mod. You can find the modifiers in the Camera Editor by clicking on the Funnel icon. The first one is the Tracker modifier, which allows your camera to follow a tracker that shares the name you enter in the text box. For example, Head of John. Now, you need to add the Tracker Morph as a limb to the actor's head. To make it work, change the type from Aperture Morph Tracker to Aperture Modifier and input the same name. Now, when you scroll through the timeline, you'll see the camera follows the actor's POV. If you turn off as the main camera, only the camera's position will be effective, while its yaw, pitch, and roll remain unchanged. With Look At, the camera will target and follow the tracker at a specific point, at all times. The Angle Modifier lets you adjust the camera's yaw, pitch, rotation, and field of view. Simple and straightforward, like the next modifier. With the Translate Modifier, you can move the camera along the X, Y, and Z axes. Easy! The Shake Modifier adds camera shake. You can adjust the shake slider, the speed, and the amount slider, the intensity, and then specify which axis the shake affects, including tilt, rotation, and even FOV shake. If you want to smooth a camera movement, you'll need the Drag Modifier. The lower the value, the smoother the camera movements become. Here you can also select which transformation properties are smoothed. With the look modifier, you can make the camera follow something such as John. All we have to do is give him a name tag in the scene menu, and voila! The camera will stay focused on him. You can also lock onto a specific block by checking the Look at Block option and entering the coordinates. Afterwards, you can adjust the camera's position on different axes. If you activate Look Forward, the camera will ignore the target selector and only focus on the direction of movement. The following modifier is similar to the Tracker modifier. When you input a name in the target selector, the camera will attach to it. If you enable relative, the camera movement will move with the actor. If you disable it, the follow modifier will override the camera's position entirely. The orbit modifier rotates the camera around an object based on the yaw and pitch rotation. In addition, you can also specify the distance from the target. The camera then films the actor from this position relative to it. If you activate the copy entity button, the camera will mimic the head movements of the actor. The Math modifier allows you to use mathematical expressions to calculate different camera attributes, such as position or rotation. Below the text box, you can select which attributes the expression will override. If you click the question mark, you'll find a list of all variables and functions. For example, it might look like this. The Remapper modifier manipulates the time of the camera movement. Afterwards, the camera movement can be changed with this modifier using a math expression or a graph. Camera movement without Remapper. Camera movement with Remapper. Cool! With the Dolly Zoom modifier, you can create a Hitchcock-style zoom First, you need to animate the FOV and measure the distance between the camera and the focus point, the object or actor. Enter the distance in blocks as the focal point. Let's take a look. Wonderful! 
Lastly, let's look at the icons you'll find with each modifier from left to right. The first is the envelope icon. Click it to change the window and reveal four sliders. These let you control how the effect of the modifier fades in and out. The left slider adjusts the starting point and how long it takes to fade in, while the right slider handles the fade out. To activate it, you'll need to enable the envelope. The relative button next to it determines whether the tick on the ending point is calculated from the start or end of the camera fixture. I'd recommend keeping it off. You can also adjust the interpolation here. It's hidden under the gear icon. If you want even more control, you can enable keyframes to create a custom interpolation. Wonderful! Let's move on to the second icon. The next icon allows you to copy the modifier with all its settings. You can paste it as many times as you want using the plus icon at the top. If you have several modifiers and want to change their order, you can do this with the third icon. Simply click on the up or down arrow depending on where you want to move the modifier. The lock icon temporarily disables the modifier. Click again to enable it. Finally, you can delete the modifier again if you don't like it anymore. And that's it, we're done. We wish you a lot of fun making creative videos with the Blockbuster mods. See you next time.